Georgina Sterling was a very famous opera singer born here in Twillingate, Newfoundland in 1867 to Dr. William Sterling and Anne Payton. Well, she wanted to learn to sing. When her mother died and the father um, had to find a place for her and her family to go, her sisters, her older sisters were pretty well all taken care of. She went to a boarding, a ladies school. So she came back from uh, ladies school and she had had some uh, music lessons up there. And she decided that she herself wanted more than anything to be a singer. And her father said, well, be a singer here. But she said, no, I need to go and study. And the, the most famous lady to study with, the most famous person to study with is in France. And her name is Madame Marchese, and I would like to study with her. So she studied, and uh, Madame Marchese arranged different places for her to sing. And she was quite extraordinary and got rave reviews. And so this is how that part of her career began. And she finished studies with Madame Marchese. And by the time she had finished, she was very well known in Europe and also did some singing in the States. She had a voice, they said, like no other. And her voice was a pure soprano voice. And when she performed, everyone was just in awe of her voice. It was absolutely magnificent and she was so beloved in every performance that she made. It was, it was really, really inspiring to people. I just was so interested in her life and I wanted to know more about her. And I knew Ern Payton and Mrs. Payton who wrote the, the book there, uh, knew her. So I was interested in talking to them, and, and they had what was left of her, her, her things in. And I said, well, I, I'd like to make a room up to the museum. I worked there as a curator then, and I'd like to see her things properly displayed. So they brought it, what they had. In Georgie's room, there are articles of clothing that she would have that she would have wore during her performing days. There are also wall boards that tell of the story of Georgie, tell of her musical career pretty much from beginning to the ending. And there is also a recording of what is believed to be Georgie's voice. She was born here, she was part of the town and she became world famous. And it's only right that she, her, her things should be properly preserved and for other people to, to see and learn about her. Georgina came back to Twillingate as often as she could. Twillingate was always in Georgie's heart. And whenever she got the opportunity to come back home, she did. One of the things that really impressed me about her as a person was imagining every time she would come home to Twillingate, her boat would come in, it would, there was a crowd of people there to meet her on the wharf. And that, when I, every time I would go and boat with Cecil, I would think about that and I'd think, this is how she felt. And we're getting closer and closer to home and she's seeing home and she just can't wait to get there and see everybody who she knows is waiting for her. And I, I think that was the moment I identified with Georgina Sterling. Georgina started having problems with her voice and uh, she eventually decided that she wanted to be back home and she wasn't able to perform like she used to and she came back in 1929. It was time. It was time to come home. Aunt Hyde Stuckless uh, used to go to and look out to her. She'd put a lamp in her window if she needed help and she could see it from her house. 
and she used to go and take care of her when she was sick. And she told me a lot about her, what she was like and how they liked cats and, and had a nice garden and told me, she told me a lot about her. She made me, you know, interested in her. I think it's, it's very important to Twillingate. For one thing, I think because of the fact that it's such a small place and she became so well known. And we can look back at history and say, this young lady came from Twillingate, a small town, and could make so much of herself way back in the 1800s. It's, it's very, it's a very wonderful story. I think it's, it's, it's good to remember, to remember people that have done good for your community in a positive way. Yes, I mean, way back then, just not so easy to travel and things like that. You know, um, she is, she was, she, 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 I think, a very brave person. I would have loved to meet her. <laughs>